Hey everyone, it's Jonathan here, founder of Driving Academy. In today's video, we're going to be discussing why four out of five people who took the road test today actually failed. Now, here at Driving Academy, we are very proud of our training procedures that we have here, and we're the only school around that can actually offer a guaranteed training course available. That being said, not every single student passes the first time. However, today was a bloodbath. So we had five people take the test, and four of them wound up failing. However, the day before, we had five people taking the test and four of them wound up passing. So all these people went through the same exact training process, same exact school, same exact instructors. Now we're going to discuss what is the actual difference between passing and failing the test. So here at Driving Academy, like I said, we have guaranteed training courses available. So how does that work? That means that we're going to give you over 100 hours of training plus unlimited tries at the test, which means if you fail the test for whatever reason, we're going to keep taking for the test until you pass at no extra cost to you. So if you fail for one of these three reasons that we're going to discuss today in this video, there's no worries, it's not going to cost you anything extra, you're just going to keep going to the test and you're going to be guaranteed to walk away with your CPL license. Let me start this off by saying this road test is definitely not an easy thing, it's not a walk in the park. Let's explain what the road test is all about. So in order to get a CDL license, one of the tasks that you're going to have to do is pass the two and a half hour long road test. The road test itself is split into three different parts. The first part of the test is all about inspecting the truck. There you have to inspect both the inside and outside of the vehicle. The second part of the test is all about parking the truck six different ways. And then the third part of the test is actually driving the truck on the road itself. So that being said, it is a very difficult test, has many different parts to it, but there's really only three reasons why anybody would fail that test. Reason number one is you did not study the pre-trip inspection. The pre-trip inspection is the first portion of the test that takes about an hour to complete, and that unfortunately is where most people do fail. Now that being said, why do people fail? Because they did not study the actual material that needed to in order to pass that portion of the test. To give you an example, you're going to have to be able to inspect the entire inside and outside of the vehicle, and you're going to have to memorize an exact script of what to say for the test itself. So for instance, one of the things that we're going to have to do is point out this item right here, which is called the alternator. My alternator is belt driven, it's operating properly, not damaged or leaking, and mounted securely. My alternator belt has a one three quarter inch of play, no cracks or frays, or signs of wear, or loose fibers. If you miss one of those words that I just described from section 11, it says, now, if you miss one of those words that I just described, you're not going to pass the test. Now you're going to say, well, John, how did you even come up with those words? Did you just make it up on the spot? No. Everything that we teach here is directly from the CDL manual, and that's exactly what the test is going to be about. Now, one of the cool things about coming to our school is that we have our own third-party testing site available to all of our students, which means that we are going to be the ones giving you the test as well as training you for the test. So we have a whole staff member, we have a whole staffing team who all their only job is just to give CDL road test day after day to any of our students and anybody else who's looking to get their CDL test done. But like I said, those people know it, we're instructors in the past so they know exactly what you're going through and those people are the ones that are going to grade you yes or no and they know what they're talking about. The second reason why most people fail the test is they simply don't have the skills. So say you pass the pre-trip inspection because that's pretty much memorization and making sure that you're putting the work in. The second part is all about parking the truck, right? So here you're going to have to park the truck three different ways. There's up to six different ways that the examiner can ask you to park, but they're only going to pick three out of the six. So learning how to back, a, back up a tractor trailer is not an easy skill to accomplish. That being said, when you are backing that stuff up, if your skill level is not there, you're probably not going to pass. The other way that your skill level cannot be there is when it comes to the road driving, especially if you want to take a manual transmission vehicle, which means if you're grinding a bunch of gears, if you stall the truck, if you're not taking your turns correctly, you will fail that test as well, which means you will not get passed and you will not get your CDL license, all due to lack of skill. And the last reason why most people do fail is because of a silly reason, which is do not follow directions. Now this could be something because maybe they truly didn't hear the directions, or two, they could be nervous, or simply they're just out of it, right? Or maybe English is a kind of a barrier. So what do I mean by that? So when it comes to the parking portion of the test itself, there's going to be specific instructions that the examiners are going to be reading to you, and those instructions are going to tell you everything that you have to do in order to pass this maneuver. As an example, there's going to be a, an exact starting point where you should start and an exact ending point where you should end. 
If you do not end where the examiner told you to end, and you, even though you did everything else correct, you will wind up failing that portion of the test. So that's something that you definitely want to make sure you pay attention. And you can ask as many questions as you want during the test to make sure you clarify. The other reason why people fail on the road, for instance, is because they don't follow directions. So if the examiner says, hey, at the next light you're going to make a right, and you don't hear them or you don't want to listen to them and you keep going straight because you did not follow directions, that's an automatic fail. So that being said, follow directions. What do we talk about? Make sure you stay that pre-trip inspection. Make sure you get the proper training to get the skill level that you need to pass the test. And if you follow the directions and handle your nerves, there should be no reason why you would why you would be one of those four who failed today. You would have been one of those four who passed yesterday if you actually studied and you did everything that we talked to you about. So if you are looking to get to the best training school around, there's no other place you should look. Just give us a call, 908-525-3609, or take a virtual school tour at cdljobinacademy.com forward slash tour. Again, that's cdljobinacademy.com forward slash tour. If you are somebody who is very, very nervous and maybe you're a bad test taker, the best and only option for you would be to get our guaranteed training course. We have courses that are lower than the guaranteed course that come with either one or two tries at the test. But if you fail those one or two tries, that means you're going to have to keep paying for another road test again and again. So it's just much more economically sound just to pay for one guaranteed course. And no matter what, you're guaranteed to walk away with your CDL license. So if you have any questions about any of our courses, give us a call at 908-525-3609. Or check out the virtual school tour at cdljobinacademy.com forward slash tour. cdljobinacademy.com forward slash tour. Thanks. Have a great day. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel. It's really going to help us out. Click on that button. And if you want to continue yourself on your road to freedom, here's more videos to watch. There's endless amounts. Hopefully, we get to see each other one day very soon. Thanks.